Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to explain how to draw the projections of solids problems using AutoCAD 3D Basics. So, to activate AutoCAD 3D Basics, first go to this workspace setting option. So, by default, it will be something like this. The workspace will be in 2D environment. It will be like this. Now, you go to this workspace settings button. This is workspace setting button. Here you just shift this to 3D basics like this. Then the environment will be shifted to 3D. Okay. This is workspace switching button. Okay. Now initially the cursor is along XY directions. You just go to visualize. Then here select the southwest isometric position then automatically the z axis will be activated now you can see x y z axis here then go to shading options okay here you select shaded with edges select this option then automatically this cursor is now in 3d mode so clearly you can see the x y z directions in three different colors okay so this is the initial setting we have to do to activate the 3D workspace. Pentagonal prism problem will solve. <coughs> Pentagonal prism of 40 mm side axis 65 mm has its axis 45 degrees to HP and edge of the base is inclined 6 degrees to VP. So here the first step is you have to get the information of the axis from the problem. Here axis 45 to HP. That means in this simple position you have to keep the axis perpendicular to HP. Perpendicular to HP you have to consider. So axis perpendicular to HP comma about edge if you extract the data edge is 60 degrees to VP. Edge is 60 degrees to VP. So you have to keep the edge. So you have to keep the edge perpendicular to VP. That is the simple position. Keep the edge perpendicular to VP. So in this way you have to consider the simple position. So this is a pentagonal prism. In basic solids the prism is not readily available. So that's why I will take the pentagon here. From polygon commands I will take the pentagon. So I will draw the pentagon like this. Here number of sides you have to take as 5. Then you have to go for this edge option then turn on ortho on option ortho on you turn on you have to keep this edge perpendicular to x-axis perpendicular to x-axis means that is perpendicular to vp parallel to x-axis means that is parallel to vp you have to keep the edge perpendicular to vp that's why you keep the edge like this side of the edge is 40 enter 40 here now the pentagon is created you fit this into the screen using zoom extends command you can zoom it like this after that you just create a region reg so like this now this is created as a region now you go to extrude command here go to extrude command and extrude this to 65 mm like this okay now the solid is ready you can check the views go to visualize and you can check the views in the top view if you observe now observe this side is perpendicular to vp in the top view, you can see this side perpendicular to vp in the front view you can see the axis length like this this is the front view again come back to southwest isometric like this okay now pan this and take a copy of it in the second stage we have to represent the axis inclination that's why take a copy of it taking the reference point as this is my reference point and i am copying this along the x-axis along the x-axis i am copying now in the case of a prism axis parallel to this particular edge vertical edge okay this particular edge is making 45 degrees means automatically axis is making 45 degrees so that's why to till the edge to 45 degrees i have to rotate this solid 
about the x about the z axis here you just keep this in this is the coordinates uh, tab here you keep this in world position okay, this is the world position okay this is the default position that is called as world position now in this world position you have to rotate this solid about y axis now then automatically you will get the inclination with respect to hp if you tilt this about y so that's why here you have to go for rotate 3d commander rotate 3d rotate 3d command is there here you just go to rotate 3d then select this so object selection process is over press enter then it is asking to select the plane sorry it, it, now it is asking to select the axis about which you want to rotate i am selecting the y axis so enter y or click on y axis now it is asking to specify a point i will take this point about that point along y axis i want to rotate okay so here if you observe the direction positive y along the positive y if you keep your thumb remaining directions will remaining fingers if you if you keep the thumb along y axis remaining fingers will indicate the direction of rotation so remaining fingers here in this case is indicating clockwise that means positive if you enter it will rotate in the downward direction that's why i'm entering minus 45 here angle i'm entering is minus 45 after selecting the base point you enter the angle as minus 45 then it will be tilted like this now check the positions here now check the front view in the front view you can see that axis inclination that is 45 degrees now you can see ok top view is like this now top view is like this now again go to southwest isometric now fan it again you take a copy of this take a copy of this along the x axis to represent that edge inclination ok now again go to rotate 3d command rotate 3d now select this object enter then i want to rotate about z axis because if you rotate about z axis only you will get the inclination with respect to vertical plane that's why i'm taking z axis now point is this point okay so this vertical edge i want to tilt to 60 degrees that means with respect to horizontal means 60 with respect to vertical means you have to tilt that to 30 so that's why i'm tilting this to minus 30 okay now observe the top view so this side this side is making no 60 degrees with vertical plane the same thing is tilted like so here you can apply different colors to different stages Now the next step is again go to visualize and here go to viewports, go to viewports option, go to configure, viewport configuration here go for two horizontal viewports, okay, the screen is divided into two parts, in the top portion you keep the front view like this, in the bottom portion you keep the top view like this, okay, then your problem is over. Now take this screenshot and upload this to lab software. Thanks for watching this video.